how do I resolve a security vulnerability in WebSphere application server traditional and Liberty, IBM HTTP server, and IBM's Java runtime? Go to the security bulletin list. If you do not have the link saved, visit the comments section of this video for the URL. Important, it is recommended that you subscribe to this page so IBM notifies you when new security bulletins are released. This can be accomplished by following the link on this page. The CVE column will provide you the CVE number assigned to the vulnerability. This is the number you should get from your scan results to identify a fix. The CVSS score column will provide you the score given from 1 to 10. The next column shows whether WebSphere Traditional, Liberty, or IBM Java are affected. The next column shows whether IBM HTTP Server is affected. The last column shows the versions affected. For this example, we will use CVE-2020-4329. If you have the CVE number, do a Control F in Windows and paste the CVE number in the search to find it in the page. Please use the shortcut keys for your OS if not using Windows. This one seems only WebSphere and Liberty are affected. Click the link and this will direct you to the interim fix details page. Important. Please be aware that IBM will not provide you any more details than what is already in this page. This is done to protect the product from the exploit and it is recommended you apply the fix as soon as possible if your product version is listed in the affected version section of the bulletin. Scroll down to the remediation slash fixes section. Locate your version. This section will provide you the options you have which are to either apply the interim fix or the fix back if already released. Click the interim fix link. Scroll down to the bottom of the page to locate the interim fix needed. Click the FC link for the level required. Scroll down to the bottom of the page. Click Continue. Type in your IBM credentials. If you do not have an account, click Create an IBM ID and follow the steps to create one. Click Continue. Type your password. Click Login. Review the information and scroll down to the bottom of the page. Select the option you want to download the fix. Click Continue. Accept the terms. Click I agree. Click the zip file to download. Click OK. You can also click the README to see more details. Once you have the interim fix downloaded, use the installation manager to apply it to your system. You have successfully downloaded the interim fix required. Note, if you do not know how to install the interim fix, visit the comments section for a link to a video on how it's done. Thank you.